Gabrielle, over to you now. So from a family perspective, how do you feel about those comments from Biden this morning? Well, I mean, this, it was uh, you know, a nice surprise to wake up to uh, this morning, these <laughs> comments uh, from the president. Uh, but really, uh, I, I see it as a sort of uh, uh, a foot in the door now for the Australian government and those people advocating for Julian around the world uh, to really double down on these comments and, and really push hard now uh, for Julian to be returned home to his uh, family back, back to Australia. You know, Bi Biden has... Uh, open the door a little bit here and and it's really the time for those advocating for Julian in, in the government uh, and, and others abroad, uh, Julian's um, high profile advocates uh, in, in governments all around the world to really jump on these comments and, and really push hard because I think uh, now is a really time to seize that moment to get Julian back to Australia. Yeah, last time we spoke, Gabrielle, um, you, you know, he didn't attend that court hearing because he, he, was, he wasn't feeling well. How's he doing at the moment? Well, you know, he's uh, like, um, you know, he's hanging in there. Uh, it, this whole process is has taken its toll on him, and you know, we're told by medical experts that he can recover uh, if he's um, let out of prison. But uh, the longer he's kept in there, uh, the longer he is in danger of, uh, you know, just wasting away and losing his life. And that's what we're really, uh, really fearful of of his family is. Uh, that he do, that he can't hang on, uh, that he can't that he won't make it through this process. Okay, uh, Gabrielle and Jennifer, really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. We'll talk to you again soon.